As a textile sector, the challenges which we face is the lack of expertise. Welcome to another edition of Calm Live. Today I'm at Omega Apparels. We were talking to Mehul and he's telling us about the impact of COVID-19 on their business and how they have managed to remain top of their game. uniform has been a major chunk of our production and as we know all schools are shut down and not opening in the near future so we had to very fast think over now what I have 350 people on an average and while every business was shutting down and everything it was my duty and obligation to make sure that I find some work for them to retain them rather than going home because as it is our economy is such that everybody's hand to mouth. We are registered with NITA and everyone. Yes. And we do encourage interns uh, come in. Yes. Because it's in the program. They come in for two, three months. Mm -hmm. They learn the system. And if we feel they're good enough, we return them. How do you feel we can build the capacity of our young people, the young generation that you're talking about, to be able to fill you know, this sector and grow it? Internet and social media and everything, a lot of awareness of what's happening outside. And uh, what entrepreneurs here local want to do is uh, just improvise themselves into what fashion they can uh, pr produce themselves. Like, uh, you know, people are making their own using our local materials like the shukas and the kikois mm -hmm. and coming out with beautiful uh, garments which they could just sit home and design and do a small scale uh, industry. As a textile sector, the challenges which we face is the lack of expertise. Mm. We don't have institutions who train people in expert divisions that uh, we require them uh, here. Like, for example, we have shortage of people who can actually provide patterns for garments. What interventions do you think need to be put in place? We want government intervention to come in that restrict a few items which can be done in Kenya and we do it them in Kenya and stop importation of that. If they could invest in proper technology in the latest textile machines and everything, it would be a very great help.